Well, hello, superstar. Oh my God, I am. Go I, how could I not be good after seeing you? I mean, incredible, incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, tell me about the series. What can you tell me about it? I can tell you that it's wild. I can tell you that when you watch the trailer, you think it's one thing, and then you will be completely shocked because it is not that at all. That's what I can tell you. And what, what have you found the most interesting about your character in particular? The most interesting thing about her? The most interesting thing about Dre is how much love she actually has inside of her heart. I think it's going to be very easy for people to say, oh, well, she's a villain or she has anger and hate and hurt and all she, and she has all those things too but she was she was driven by love and even though it's misconstrued that is a big part of, of everything that she is absolutely and that's even interesting for you to kind of empathize with her and not just say you know well, I have to as an actor you know yeah, they yeah. say if you judge your character then people are definitely going to do that so yeah, yeah. I had to make sure that I was a clear clear enough vessel to be able to give an authentic performance and not have my own judgments so I originally when I got the role I had to journal uh -huh. and identify any of the pauses and fears that I had so that I can clear it away for Dre Absolutely. And then when you're probably, you know, establishing the backstory, you're like, ah, that's why she's like that, because that happened to her and then that happened to her. It's not, she wasn't born, you know, it's over time and things happen. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Well, welcome back. Okay, I think, Sorry about that. No, of course. I mean, you are the star of the show. Like, you are being pulled in all sorts of directions. So, I think we were last talking about um, what you learnt through playing your character about yourself. Oh, what I learned about myself, uh, what I learned about myself was that I was brave. You know, when I watched the uh, piano teacher, as Donald and Janine asked us to do, I, I thought about the role and I said, I don't know if I'm, I'm that brave. And when I read the script, I said, I could do that. But then it was, it was, uh, it was scary. Um, it was a challenge. And so I had to get out of my own way to step into it. And I'm just glad that I did. And I'm so glad that you're admitting that because I think so many people see you and you've got so much confidence and you're so brilliant and it's like people would just assume that you have, you're you brave and that you're like, let's go, let's do. Well, when, when you get on the set, yeah. for me, that all of that falls away. That's yeah. the that's the stuff before when I'm prepping and I'm, and I'm deciding what I'm going to do for the character. But once I've committed and I wrote out the things that I feared and I released it, then I was ready. So once you get to set, that's, that changes. Then I'm like, let's do it. It's almost like something takes over your body once that camera kind of rolls. It's like, and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just go, yes. And have you ever had a sort of fandom moment when you're like, oh my God, I'm so obsessed with this celebrity or this star? Has that ever happened to you in uh, real life? Or You know, I, I was saying that it's so funny that I'm playing an ultimate stand because I don't even like standing up that long. So like concerts never was my thing. <laughs> the first concert I ever been to was in 2018. Uh -huh. But I will say I was at the airport and I saw T uh, Tamara Maori. Oh my and I was like... And I was like, Mom, I gotta call you back, it's Tamara. Yeah. No, no, so. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I think I've interviewed, ooh, about 500 people. She is top three. Really? Like, I love she's her. She's so sweet, I yeah. love her. She's, she's so just, kind. I think she's one of those people, there's no barrier. Like, when you talk to her, she's, um, she's just herself. And she's just so lovely and positive and good. She is. I, I, I just, it, I was engulfed by her warmth when I met her. Yeah. And. Did you ever think that this was going to be possible for your life, that you would get to kind of do what you love and get paid to do it? Uh, yes, I did think it was possible. When I was, when I was 12, I used to say, God wouldn't make me this way if I wasn't supposed to be a famous actress. That would be too cruel. So I just, I didn't know how to do it. I was in East New York, Brooklyn, watching the TV, watching Tamara and Tia and being like, I want to do that, watching Lucille Ball and say, I want to be like Lucy. Uh -huh. um, so, so to have it manifest itself, it's not a surprise, but this magnitude is what's a surprise. Like, I, there's a big old billboard on Sunset with my face and my name on it. Yeah. That's wild. And, you know, as they say, it might sound cheesy, but, you know, God has a bigger plan for your life than you ever can. So, I mean, it's only the beginning for you. So thank you for being you, and I'm so excited to see what's to come in the series. It's amazing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so nice much. To nice to meet you, too. Yes.